Hi everybody, it's Susan with Pumpkin Hill Stampers. I have stamp and show and tell for you today. We're going to play with the All the Good Things stamp set. We are going, I'm going to show you how I put this card together. Those beautiful fish. We are playing in the Fab Friday Challenge. Pretty simple one this week. So this worked out really well. So I'll have the link to their challenge in my comments below. So you can go see what else everyone uh, created. And I have to give credit to Barb Brimhall. She is uh, my upline. And she sent me this demo swap last month for the new catalog swap ideas. And she had done these fish in these beautiful colors. And so I kind of took her idea and I mimicked it in making my own card. Okay, so let's just go ahead and get stamping. So I used Poppy Parade as my card base. I used the new Mango Melody for a background and I've run that through the embossing folder Seaside. Okay, so it's got some texture on it, so that's going to be our background. Then I've also pre-cut two circles. One's on Shimmer White and one's on Basic Black. So that's just going to be our piece there. And then I have another piece of shimmer white that we're going to make our tag to go right there. And then we're going to use fun sequence to put some bling on our card as well. Okay, so let's go ahead and do some stamping. Now, I don't actually have Poppy Parade or Mango Melody in ink pad yet. I haven't gotten all my ink pads yet. So a close copy is Calypso Coral. So that's the color I'm going to use. Now, when I stamp up my fish, this is one of those distinctive stamps, so it's got different variations in the stamp height. I stamp down one fish. See, it's all one color, but it's got lighter and darker spots. Okay, so that's pretty all on its own. So I'm just going to go right around and I'm going to do three. and they fit very nicely together all curved up. Now I could just leave them as a monochrome because it's got all that beautiful detail in there to start with but what I did is I have the marker so let me zoom in for you let me show you how I worked with the marker okay so I'm just going to come right over the top of my stamped image and I can add a second color just by painting it on. Now you gotta have a steady hand because you don't want to paint outside of the stamped image but I can go right over that because I'm using a lighter color for my second color. I can go right over the original stamped image and shade it in. So, see how it now has a two-tone fish? So, so I'm going to do all three fish with my marker. Color those right in. So very lightly, you're just going to go over each fish and color the second tone. Now, if I'm right and this is a koi fish, when we see them at the aquarium, they're all different colors. So you could have a lot of fun and do this card in a lot of different shades in our color spectrum. I was almost tempted to do it with blue and green, but I really liked Barb's card, so I stuck with her color scheme. And if you hear little feet around, Henry is here watching me make the video today. And he keeps putting his finger to his lip because he knows he needs to be quiet, huh? Okay. So there are our three fish. So we can put this card together pretty quickly now. 
So let me zoom back out. You can see the whole project. So I just need my snail. So I'm going to add my textured background to the front of my card. Oh, my snail ran out. Hold on, I got to get another one from the other room. So they oh my goodness, did you just say peekaboo to all of them? No, I don't. Give them a little peek for my face. Okay. So we put the background down and then we just layer up our mount. Okay. So we need to stamp our tag. So with Memento. I'm just going to stamp my sentiment. And then I'm just going to snip that off short. Okay. And then I think I've shown you this trick before. I use my paintbrush tip on my marker and right along the edge, I'm just going to shade it. You can also do this with a sponge dauber, come along and shade it, but you can do it with your marker. So you just come along very carefully and just give it some shading. So instead of having another layer to mount this on, like another black layer, which I thought was going to be a little too heavy, this just adds a little bit of detail to your edge without adding more cardstock. Okay, so there's that. So now let's get our sequence. So I'm just going to cut off. I actually did this with two different tails because it's kind of offset for the sketch. And I brought in a glue dot. And so what I'm going to do is just bend my sequence, stick it on my glue dot. Maybe stick it on my glue dot. And then I actually flipped it over and put it on the other side of the glue dot as well. Maybe. Okay, so then I stick this on the back of my circle, peel it off my finger at the same time, I hope. Okay. That's one side, and then I just got to do the other. So I'm just going to repeat that same thing. Now I'm not worried about my tails being even. You can always trim them, or you can let them be uneven. So it's just kind of a fun little flare, a little bit of sparkle on it. So let me put this one on this side across. Okay, now we're going to use a couple of dimensionals. Now I'm going to put my dimensional down here and then put my tag on. So there's the card. Now for the envelope, I'm just going to add one of those fun fish to the outside of the envelope. Won't they be surprised? Okay. So there is the envelope and there is the card. Now on the first one, I also used some Wink Stella to glitter up those fish. So if you wanted to add that, you could do that. All right, guys, if you enjoyed today's video, uh, give me a thumbs up, comment, and don't forget to subscribe to the show and tell news so you don't miss out on the PDF for this video next Tuesday. All right, everybody, bye-bye.